Hey, nerdlings. What up, nerdlings? All right, so this is a uh, different kind of TLC episode. So TLC is Tom and Lacey collecting. Because uh, I would go with cruising like PT, cruising for games. Cruising for games! But we just collect all kinds of stuff, not just games. This is Tom and Lacey, collecting all the things, searching from here to there, finding comic book tables, house Legos, and action figs, retro gaming, amiibos, and image prints. Watch as they collect them all. Tom and Lacey collecting right now. So, the reason this is a little different is because sometimes, unfortunately, she has to work yeah. on weekends, so uh, I'm left to my own devices. Woo! It is time to go cruising for some games, toys, pickups, comics, whatever we can find. As you can see, I'm with... Oh, yes. Oh, that's just me. But he always finds good stuff, though. Yes, because my devices are hitting up pawn shops and thrift stores and Goodwills and flea markets. And not only am I looking for awesome stuff for me, but I'm always looking for awesome stuff for you too. Because he's actually a good husband who listens when his wife talks. <laughs> Mercy, giving me the vapors. He knows me so well because he listens when I talk. <laughs> and sometimes it gets me in trouble. So, <laughs> so starting off uh, kind of small, I got her, it is a Celtic Fair by Maggie Sans, Sansone, Sanswan. Sansavara. Samsonite. I was way off. Why do you think I picked up this album for you? Because I'm Scottish. <laughs> <laughs> way back when. It's the red hair. But no, because we both absolutely love going to Ren Fairs and we love, actually both of us really enjoy listening to Celtic yeah. music. It's just, it's, some of it's peaceful, some of it's, some Pictus is a little... <laughs> Drinking and roaring. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, something like this. Um, but I do love Pictus. I, I love anticipate Pictus. this being a, yeah. a little more laid back and relaxing. But yeah, Pictus, I mean, they it's a much different sound, you know. It's like, get ready to drink, get ready to yes. brawl. And then there's the nice, let's go to sleep. Celtic music that kind of, you know, lulls you. So these are always fun. We like to listen to these when we've got like long car rides. It's nice to have some music in the background that's not too distracting. Right. And kind of just be mood, mood music or background music. Now to tie in with this, actually in the very same rack that I found this CD, I came across King's Quest VI, which is that's air, music. air Today, God Tomorrow. But <laughs> but that is an excellent point. Uh, whenever I'm out and about or we are out and about, mm -hmm. I always try to give the CDs a good quick scan because very often you'll find PC games like this, uh, sometimes some PS1 games, mm -hmm. maybe a Dreamcast game if you're lucky. Yeah, because they did put them in just CD jewel cases. Right. Once long ago, I found a TurboGrafx-16 game. And I mean, granted, it wasn't really anything special. I think it was like Tricky Kick, so... <laughs> but the point is, it does pay to, uh, to look around. And even though this is, you know, I guess just King's Quest VI, it looked to be in really good shape. Now, uh, by the way, one dollar, and I think that was maybe a dollar. I'd buy that for a buck. Would you buy it for a buck? Is that the phrase? Would you buy that for a buck? Who knows? I bought this for a buck. <laughs> <laughs> well, another thing that I picked up for her is my Mickey Christmas Carol. This is how I know the Dickens classic <laughs> Christmas Carol. If it's not Scrooged with Bill Murray. <laughs> no. It's, it's this version. Sorry, Patrick Stewart. I'm not, I didn't really get into the one that you did, but this is how I learned it. So, you know, it's always, I always enjoy this one. That's why I even bought a uh, stuffed plushie of, of That's right. Goofy. <laughs> Goofy Marlowe. And look, there he is on the back. Right there. But yeah, I love this one. It's so cute. And sometimes it's just fun to pick up stuff on VHS, mm -hmm. which makes for a great segue into something I picked up a little more for me. Because he loves his Wizard of Oz. So yeah, it is the Wizard of Oz, 
on VHS, and this was the 50th anniversary. And 50th on VHS. <laughs> I hadn't even made it to DVD yet. <laughs> <laughs> so the neat thing was it had a cover that opens up like a book, and then it's yeah, got actually, you know, like, like a little book in there. Little booklet in there, just some random information about Oz, the movie. So I thought that was kind of neat. And it is funny because when, you know, the DVDs started coming out and you're like, oh, I'm totally getting rid of all these. We totally <laughs> purged our VHS, you know, collection because we're like, we want the DVD because that's right. awesome. And so it, it's kind of funny because, you know, it's coming all back around. And we're like, oh, look, nostalgia. I'm going to pick up the, DVD, the VHS again. <laughs> Not only that, but uh, I have been noticing from a lot of other collector videos out there on YouTube, a lot of you other guys are picking up VHS mm -hmm. tapes. We found some fun... Uh, video game stuff on VHS. That's true, and yeah. of course there are some things that are on VHS, but I don't know if they've made it to DVD, much less Blu-ray or anything else. You bought Zerfrass's... Zerfus. Zerfrass. Now, going along with The Wizard of Oz, <laughs> at the same place, I found this, and this is uh, Nightmare Fuel, if you look at those those pictures of yes. uh, how they look on the front, the animated. I know they're not so great on the back either. <laughs> I remember watching this cartoon a couple of times when I was younger on TV and it always kind of weirded me out. The interesting thing to note, however, is that the... Models for all the characters, you know, so the the Scarecrow, the Tin Man, and Dorothy, they're all taken yeah. after the movie and not the books because of the books. Dorothy was a much younger girl, and Weren't uh, those silver slippers. Yes, silver slippers. <laughs> the Tin Man and the Scarecrow, they looked vastly different. The Cowardly Lion in the books, he was more of a lion, not a man lion. <laughs> But uh, Mayan? so that was Mayan? kind of that was interesting that the cartoon went the route of the movie because if you keep in mind, Return to Oz tried to go back more yeah. looking like the books, and that was one of the things that people didn't really like yeah. about it. I liked that one though, it was good. And there were some creepy parts of oh, yes. that one. But the Gnome King, when he's uh, just being a dick to Dorothy, he's like. There's no place like home. <laughs> There's no place like home. What about the lady with all of her heads? Oh, Mombi and our <laughs> hall of heads. Yeah. And they're all screaming at her. Unfortunately, I cannot use the They Might Be Giants song right there because, uh, YouTube and stuff. <laughs> anyway. So where does this fall in line of the, the books? Like, is this one no, of the books? I don't. I don't think that this takes place in the books. I'm oh, not okay. sure if any of the storylines from this. the cartoon uh, borrow from the books. But this, from the cartoon that I remember, it seemed like it kind of continued the story of uh, her time in Oz from the movie. Now, another movie that uh, we picked up, and I imagine nobody has heard of this: Roberto and the Robot. Here's the thing. I picked this up for one reason only. On the back here, there is a logo for Missouri State. Now that is a university, a college within our town, and that's the only reason I picked this up. I saw that and I'm like, you know what, I'm gonna get it. I think it also fell into the dollar category. I was just curious because it used to be called Southwest Missouri State University, and then they changed it just to Missouri State. So I didn't know where, if this, fell into like what that would kind of give it its age but yeah it says Missouri State so it's newer I did pick up some comics uh, I picked up this one dinosaurs for hire because it is I believe it's based off a game unless the game is based off the, the comic, comic. <laughs> I'm not sure which came first <laughs> the chicken or the egg <laughs> but it is funny because uh, there are some interesting panels in here and right on the cover it does say Politically incorrect action on every page. Oh, it sounds like a Deadpool comic. <laughs> I also picked up an issue of Ghost Rider, and honestly, I got this for one reason. I was very interested in this double-sized milestone issue and the extra pop-up centerfold. So yeah, when you open the comic, like so, you have this insert here, and... 
Whoa! Whoa! Check it out. It's all over it. It's popping out of the comic. It's bigger than the comic. It's it's huge. Uh, and it's Ghost Rider. Uh, Nicholas Cage killed any interest in Ghost Rider oh, for oh, me. Oh. Sorry, Nicholas Cage fans, or Nicholas Cage if you're watching. <laughs> the point being, uh, you know, I just picked these up because they were random. You know, one made me think of a video game, and the other was kind of uh, that weird thing from back in the 90s. I assume it's from the 90s that comics would do, you know, anything to try to get your attention, whether it would be like the metallic covers, the a little hollow foil cards, yeah. all kinds of stuff. Now, uh, something else that I picked up for her. Because I love these when I was a kid. I collected Goosebumps books when I was a kid. So my fate, one of my favorites, the Haunted <laughs> Mask. So that was a good one. That one was really, they were really creepy. I don't know if they still hold up. I haven't really read them <laughs> since I was a kid. In this one, they actually did a free Halloween mask inside. And look, the mask is still there. Which is pretty impressive because you would think that any kid who got this book, that would have been like the first thing to come out of there. Yeah, I think I uh, cut mine out and tried it on. <laughs> <laughs> and then we got Horror at Camp Jelly Jam. I didn't read this one. I've never read that one. So that guy on the front, he's kind of goofy looking. Welcome to Dead House. I did read that one. That one was a good one. Night of the Living Dummy was also a good one. He came to life and... Now, uh, real quick, Night of the Living Dummy, that's the only one that's a little bit rough, especially on the spine. Yeah. But the rest were in decent yeah. shape. And then the last one is It Came From Beneath the Sink. And this is one of the newer ones in the series, so I hadn't read that one either. When I was collecting them, there was only 37. It's kind of like back in the Holy day. Cow. When I was when I was a kid, there was only 150 Pokemon. Now there's like 50 bazillion, kazillion of them. In our area, at least, it's actually not very easy no. to find Goosebumps, especially with as popular mm -hmm. as they were and with how many there were. I don't know if the movie, when the movie came out, like sparked a resurgence in been. it, but it's like I can remember when we first started collecting long before we did do you nerd seeing goosebumps books everywhere and so then i decided i was going to collect them again and then i couldn't find them <laughs> <laughs> isn't that always the case as soon as you think i'm going to start collecting this then they're all gone the funny thing is is this picture the night of the living dummy i i never read this one so i don't know how like good it was but this one does seem to be like the iconic picture for Goosebumps. Yeah, it really does. Lots of lots of anytime you look up Goosebumps, anything, it's it's this picture. That Must have been use. the one that creeped yeah. everyone out. Goosebumps. <laughs> I actually got some games, and I got these for really cheap, which is why I popped on them. So the herbs, Sims in the City. This is for the Nintendo GameCube, and this has this is the special edition yeah. with the free Black Eyed Peas music inside <laughs> I always loved playing the Sims and you know I when I when they started coming to the console I thought that was amazing because when you played it on the computer after it's not DLC on computers what is it called oh the expansion the expansion packs. packs thank you the, uh, the, the they, precursors to yes, DLC <laughs> they would come out and come out and it almost like you have have a NASA computer just to play <laughs> the Sims and all the expansion packs so I got really excited when they started coming out on consoles because then I didn't have to like download and bog up my computer <laughs> it was so much easier to play on consoles and uh the nice thing was it was complete always good to find complete games yes and then the final game i found and this one was a shocker to me dance dance revolution dance dance woo, woo, dance, mario dance, mix woo, woo, dance, dance, woo. <laughs> and uh this is another one that is actually complete yay and I was really happy that I found this one for five dollars because uh, the disc looks nice. Obviously, mm -hmm. the book and the, the insert, everything looks nice. So yeah, uh, at the time that I found this, I looked it up online and it was going around like thirty dollars. Yeah, so that was and a nice find. To be fair, I I was always interested in checking out the Mario Mix Dance Dance <laughs> Revolution game, but I didn't really want to pay premium price for that because. I mean, it's, it's still DDR, you know, even if it's Mario, I mean, it's Now, do you have special. to have a pad for that? You do. And they, I know that you could use, uh, I'm pretty sure, like, any GameCube dance pad, mm -hmm. but they did have a specific one for the Mario game. Oh, so it's not for us to keep an eye out Yes, for. definitely. <laughs> Bet we won't find that for five bucks. No, I doubt that. <laughs> All right, so there's one more thing. Let's clear a little space here. Lady Lacey loves her board games. I do. And I always like to find weird board games for her. And this one... I also love movies. 
This one was too good to pass out. <laughs> so Blockbuster, Blockbuster made a movie game. game. <laughs> wow, what a difference. So yeah, it's like all kinds of meanness. It's movies, it's board games, it's all kinds of fun stuff. You got your typical kind of Monopoly looking board. The board really does look like a like a shrunken version of Monopoly because you've got checkout and you know there's token thingies that you'd land on you know get one get two steal a coin from another player that's not very nice and then there's like candy and soda and popcorn like where the what those railroad railroads would be probably your little pieces are those like clapboards which is clever yeah very clever very cute the timer is also a clapboard and that's how you start your timer really cute game we haven't played it yet and you have uh, little tokens for soda and popcorn mm -hmm. and as well as all kinds of like blockbuster coins blockbuster coins for you and there are little notepads and it's listed scene one through eight down the side and uh it honestly looks like i don't think anybody's played i don't this. think so i kind of feel like maybe they punched all the pieces out yeah and just because it, it actually comes with a pencil that's looks like it's never been used at all and it does say blockbuster on it nice so i mean that's like almost i feel like this is like memorabilia like we you know not a lot of people even know what blockbuster is anymore that's so cute i love it but i love this i've always i've always loved these things <laughs> all right well what do you think that did i do all right I think you did. while you, i was out and about you did you found perfect things for me and for you i guess if you have to find things for you the books you <laughs> like i know the books i love and collect and music i like to listen to and games i like to play so yeah it just goes to show that uh you know even when you're writing solo you can still find good things and think yeah. of, think of others <laughs> think of your lady love perhaps yeah all right well nerdlings I definitely want to hear if you have any comments about some Goosebumps books, about some GameCube games, some Blockbuster games, PC games, college movies, Wizard of Oz, music, Ghost Rider comics. Centerfold, because he's so sexy. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that skull's really doing it for me. <laughs> so leave those comments down below. Give the video a like if you happen to like it. Be sure to subscribe. Hit that notification bell to let you know that we put up a new video. We're always putting up new videos, and you never know what kind of weird stuff we're going to find out about. And don't forget to like us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram for those closer upper pictures to let you know that a video has dropped because sometimes YouTube doesn't let you know that a video has dropped and to know what we're doing out and about in the real world because we do stuff like this. <laughs> okay, nerdlings. Oh, and we have merchandise. Don't forget to go get your shirts. Merchandising. Yep. And you never know when something new will pop up in the oh, merchandise place. spoilers. Wink, wink. <laughs> no, no, it's, it's dusty. There's something in my eye. All right, nerdlings. See ya. Fine, fine. <coughs> Do your fine.